Welcome to Commissioner's Corner. This is a new series that we're going to be running on the newsletter on a bi-weekly basis. It gives me the opportunity to talk to you guys and specifically to answer a lot of the questions that are frequently asked of the league, of myself, and just in the direction that we're headed or the things that we're doing. First, I'd like to uh, provide some information about the playoffs. We have 17 bowl games on the docket. Uh, some of those are consolation bowls. Most of them are single elimination, non-consolation. Uh, we have limited field space, but we've tried to create as many tiers as possible uh, to facilitate all levels of player. Uh, we are really looking forward to expanding our playoffs in the future uh, by tier and by competitive level and we would like to thank all of you that were involved in 2013 fall it's been the best season we've ever had and uh, specifically with the premier level we'd like to congratulate all the coaches and teams that were part of the premier pr premier football level uh, because of uh, the way they handled themselves the way they handled the competition and the sportsmanship and overall camaraderie it was awesome Great season, guys. Way to go. Where's the Premier League headed? The Premier League is headed towards club-style teams. And it's pretty much what we did this season, except we're going to kind of move away from pro and college teams, and we're going to move into more personalized teams so that a coach can come in and name that team, whatever team name they'd like to be uh, referred to as using their uh, their logo and their uniform and their colors. We're going to help them design those uniforms and create the color base that they're looking for and we think this is going to be really exciting and a lot of uh, fun for these coaches to come in and do so. We're looking to expand the uh, Premier League so that it encompasses more players at higher levels of playing and higher levels of coaching. Uh, this past season has been phenomenal and I'm really proud of it. Uh, the places that we'd like to head are more tournaments. We're actually going to be having a tournament. And I'll provide some more information about that tournament. Uh, and we look forward to possibly having anywhere between three to four this upcoming year, 2014. So stay tuned, Premier Teams. You are designed and developed to uh, compete in these tournaments. And uh, we see FNL and other leagues doing the same thing, gearing up towards these tournaments. So uh, let's, let's stay on course and hopefully all that stuff will come to fruition. What is the Pride Classic? The Winter Pride Classic takes place January 25th on a Saturday at Birdsall Park. It will uh, include teams from all over Southern California. Last year we had 32 teams come from San Diego, LA, Orange, Riverside, and then of course our Southwest Riverside County areas. Uh, it was a tremendous success and we wish to do as many of these as possible. This upcoming tournament uh, has a ton of information on our website regarding its costs and the specific rules. So any team of any stature, at ages from frosh all the way to senior, which are first and second grade all the way through seventh and eighth grade are welcome. If you want any more information, you can contact us at murrietafnl at gmail.com. Should be a good time. This is just a final shout out to uh, all of the patrons of Friday Night Lights. Uh, this has been by far our best season ever. Um, just the tiering alone. Uh, the three uh, preseason games, the scheduling, the playoffs, the fact that we have 17 bowl games. I mean, we've, we're have we doing things now that we dreamed about doing, we needed a size to do, and now we're doing them. And I just thank you guys for having the patience to stick it out, the loyalty to stick it out, and just understand I'm still working. I'm still working on, you know, making this league the best it can be. And so uh, I've got a new thing in the works. Hopefully be able to share that with you uh you know, in the spring, and uh, looking forward to having you guys out there and understanding that we are doing the best we can to make this experience, this Friday Night Lights experience, the best it can be for all families.
period. End of story. Thank you so much. Take care.